Do you guys need a cheesy blitz that'll get you a sack within the first two seconds every single play? A blitz that can stop the run every single play with ease? A blitz that can even stop the pass, get your opponent completely swamped and have no idea where to go? A blitz that'll have your opponent quitting on his very first drive? Stay tuned, I have all the adjustments, everything you guys need to know about this play coming soon. Do not skip around, let's get right into it. Alright, welcome back to the channel, this is your best place for Madden content. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are looking for more Madden cheese plays, tips, and all that good stuff, everything related to Madden. And drop a like while you're at it, it really helps the video get promoted, I'd really appreciate it. All the plays I'll be showing you guys today are in the Chiefs playbook. The first play I'm showing you guys is DB Blitz 0 in the Dime Normal Formation. This play is very simple, there's only two audibles you have to do. Pinch your line and slant up the middle. Both of those audibles are used by pressing left on your D-pad. Then you guys want to bring your user up until you see those green bars above his head and let go of the controller. Number one reason why you guys want those green bars above your head, the defensive line or the offensive lineman will think you are blitzing, which will give your actual offensive line that is blitzing a easier path to the quarterback. Now, the reason why I tell you guys to let go of your controller for about a second is watch my user. Watch exactly what he does when the ball is hiked. He will automatically get a speed boost to whoever you are guarding, which will be way, way faster than if you were manually doing that. So, what I'll do is I'll let my AI go ahead and run to wherever I gotta be, and then I'll pick up manually and start usering lurking wherever I gotta go. So that's the number one reason why you guys want to let go of your controller for about a second. Number two is if he does end up running, the AI will automatically pick that up and look right here. He runs right up the middle, right to where you got to go, where there's really no possible way you can pick up, pick up that play that fast if you're manually running with him. Okay, now play number two is in the 4-3 formation, even 6-1. It is called Sam Will Blitz. Now this play is essentially the same exact play. Only difference is you're bringing your bigger bodies out there. So if you know he's gonna run it, this is the play you guys wanna run. This is a good play for the red zone, a good play if you're backed up or if, if your opponent is backed up in their, um, you know, five, 10 yard line trying to get a safety. That is when I'd bring the four, three formation out. It's the same exact play, same exact setup. You pinch the line, you slam up the middle. Only difference is it's gonna have some bigger bodies out there to be able to stop the run a lot easier. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the practice facility to show you guys some more audibles and one more play I love to run to mix it up. It's a non-blitz play, but it's a very, very good coverage play if you know what you're doing and uh let's go ahead and get right into it okay so one last adjustment i want to show you guys it's all the same only thing you do is you bring up these two safeties and put them very close to the box now there's two reasons why you do that number one if they do end up running your two safeties will be about five or ten yards closer to be able to stop that run number two if they do a quick pass when your uh cornerbacks or your safeties are that far back they can easily throw to your uh, to their receivers on a slant or even if they're doing a streak, they can just throw it right to their receivers if your uh, cornerback or safeties are that far back. So that stops both of them. It stops the run and the quick passing from your opponent. So that's just a quick adjustment to make this play even more overpowered. As long as you guys have good defense, a solid defense, good cornerbacks, good safeties, it's going to be impossible to uh stop this it's really really hard okay so now for the next play you guys want to do this before the game even starts go ahead and go into your coach adjustments by clicking down on the right stick make sure you guys actually click it don't press it down turn auto flip off alignment to base flats to 30 yards and curl flats to five yards now the play we are running now is in the same formation as the db blitz zero play it's called tampa two this is a good play to hide your blitz kind of look like a fake blitz it's the same exact formation it looks exactly the same but only difference is you're going to be guarding the pass very well 
So all the adjustments are the same. The only difference is you guys want to put these inside cornerbacks on curl flats. You do that by pressing A or X on the player and then pressing your left stick to the right. The play should look exactly like this. Now, your sole objective is using the middle of the field. That is all you're worried about is the middle of the field. There's no one guarding the middle of the field. You have to lurk that. If you do not lurk that, it is going to be an open TD, open 10, 20, 30 yard play every single time the reason we put all three of our uh cornerback and safeties on the left and right is for the out routes the corner routes all those types of routes are going to be covered insanely good all you have to do is guard the middle so if your opponent goes for the middle more if there's like uh streak routes if there's texas routes with their with their running back if he's really flooding the middle of the uh field do not run this play um he will destroy you you're not gonna be able to guard all three players it's gonna be pretty difficult to guard all three at one uh one user so do not make the adjustments if he is going for the middle a lot like with multiple players this is a good play if um low low clock there's only a few minutes left a few seconds left he's really trying to time manage this is where you run this play right here if you know he's trying to hit these corner routes, this is the perfect play. This will absolutely stop the corners. Anything in the corner, out routes, anything is going to be completely stopped. Deep routes, all that stuff. Anywhere on the corner, if he's trying to get a pass out of bounds, this will completely stop it. And you will be able to guard the middle and get some user pick sixes or just some user interceptions in general. I also like to pressure my defenders. Make sure you click press. So it looks like a disguise of a blitz. They, This looks identical to the DB blitz. So your opponent is not going to know what the difference is. It's going to look like you're blitzing, but you're actually not. It's a good zone play that will stop the run as long as you're lurking like I am very easily. So just go to the practice facility and really get the audibles down on these plays. Um, the zone play is a lot more difficult to get it fully working because if they quick snap or if they don't do any audibles and they snap pretty quickly, you may be a little off. You might be on a safety instead of your linebacker or whatever. So get really good at doing this very fast. Get on your linebacker as fast as possible getting your linebacker to the line as fast as possible and letting go of your controller same thing with a blitz let go of your controller so the user will run to the zone he needs to be in and it should be an easy pick sometimes you're going to get some bs like that right there where you get animation but no interception but it is what it is it's madden you're going to get a lot of bs like that so just get used to it and uh yeah just really use these plays in the practice and learn them and this will be an op to play setup you can run obviously you guys want to run some different plays in there as well um but these two plays right here are very very overpowered especially the blitz the blitz is very very hard to uh, overcome you have to be a pretty high tier player or a, a, a really good player with good players on your team to overcome this blitz so uh yeah let me know how this play works for you guys hopefully it works well let me know in the comments let me know in the comments if you guys have any other good plays you guys want me to feature on the channel as always, I appreciate you guys. Comment, uh, comment interception Mamba if you guys made it to the very end of the video. As always, I appreciate you guys. Have a good time playing Madden. Make sure you guys drop a sub, drop a like if this video helped you guys out on defense. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.